All right, we're keeping the Mountain Dew train going, doing another versus. We're checking out Mountain Dew Voltage versus Mountain Dew Code Red. Let's see which one's better. Here we go. What's going on? It's your boy Big Ben. We back again with something new. You already know if something new just came out, it's something new we gotta talk about. People, today we are checking out something new, kind of something new for, for the channel from Mountain Dew. I've been on a little bit of a mountain kick lately, which is kind of crazy because going up, um, like Mountain Dew, the brand, like that they had new flavors, but I, I just wasn't into the reviews. So I'm kind of bringing back some nostalgia stuff. Uh, Mountain Dew fans get ready to rage on the keyboard. Tell me I got this wrong. Tell me I got this right. We're doing a versus, so I got to hear from you guys as far as which of these two flavors you like best. It's been literally at least eight. I'd probably say more so 10 years since I've tried either of these flavors. We're doing a versus of the Mountain Dew Voltage versus the Mountain Dew Red. It's been a long time since I tried these. So what kind of got me thinking about this is I checked out the Mountain Dew uh, Livewire. And shout out to uh, one of the subscribers, uh, shout out to Todd Jumper. Because in the Livewire review, I was just amazed at the, at the artwork on the bottle. Mountain Dew has the best bottles, like their artwork is top notch. But Todd mentioned that they're changing the art style of the labels across the whole Mountain Dew brand. Flavor's the same. So definitely know that these bottles are completely different, right? They got the guy on here screaming, that's dope. And then the code red, right? Just the bottles is like great. Look at that one. Like that's, that's just dope. So we're gonna do a versus here. Oh uh, man, do I start with the code red? Do I start with the voltage? I probably have had the code red a longer time ago, like maybe by a year or two years over this one. So we're gonna start with the code red. I'm interested in this. This reminds me of Xbox. So I think this is when this came out. Um, came out in 2001. That's definitely Xbox. So I remember that red ring of death. I think that's Xbox time frame. I don't know. Or Xbox 360, one or two. But whatever. So Cold Red, let's start with this one. It says, do with the rush of cherry flavor with other natural flavors. Again, let's just let's just put some homage, some praise real quick on that Mountain Dew bottle. Dope. Dope. Let's check this one out. We're gonna drink right from the bottle this time. We ain't gonna drink from the cup, but here we go. Mountain Dew. Cold red. Smells like cherry Robitussin. <laughs> Here we go. Man, that brings back some memories. This is really good. Wow. I didn't know that Mountain Dew Cold Red was that good. Wow. Give me some Halo on the Xbox right now, ma'am. This is good. This is really good. Um, okay, is it nostalgia? Hold on, let me. Y'all know, like with the Mexican pizza, I got a, I got a level set. I got a score in mine. I might need to come back to this. But yeah, it's a really good cherry flavor. Still a little Mountain Dew. Has some other thoughts. I'm not gonna give it away, I'm not gonna give it away. So let's go over to the Mountain Dew Voltage. Dew charged with raspberry, citrus flavor, and ginseng. Now, I remember this one because this one, like eight years ago, uh, shoot, was this? Uh, this was definitely Xbox 360. When did this one come out? I just remember gaming, and this was like my gaming drink right here. I was playing like Gears of War, I wanna say. One of the Gears of War, Gears of War 2 something. But, uh, so this came out 2007, wow. So that's a that's a pretty good, yeah, that's a six year difference, wow. All right, let's check out this one. Mountain Dew Voltage. All right, y'all, here we go. Mm. Yeah, man, this, this just speaks Mountain Dew in different flavors right here. They do this one best. Like one swig, I had like four of these, but this is kind of not so hold on. Yeah, this one is just, 
This is fire. That raspberry, that dew lime, this one just sings. Uh, definitely feels like you're drinking crack. <laughs> Not that I know what drinking crack tastes like, but there's a lot of sugar in both these bottles, let's be honest, yeah. Oh God, sugar's off the scale. I think I got my scores, let me just go back to this. Between the two of y'all, the voltage is the winner. Let me know if I got it wrong. I gotta give this Mountain Dew Red 7.5, maybe seven. 7.5, I could be talking to a seven. I don't know. Yeah, 7.5, I'm going on 7.5. This voltage though, this one is a nine. This one is a nine. I may have to change all scores if I did a whole Mountain Dew lineup, but right now between these two, voltage is the winner. Cold Red is still banging. Nostalgia flavor, brings back the memories, both of them do. But these are, are just two good dudes, man. Like, I'm a big fan of the Mountain Dew as of late. Just big fan. Gotta, gotta try everything now. So, there's some other dudes that people have mentioned that they want me to try. So, I got them coming. Just gotta track them down. But, there we go. That's the Mountain Dew Voltage. Mountain Dew Cold Red. Let me know if I got it right. Let me know if I got it wrong. Respectfully. And let me know if there's something else that you guys want to see from Mountain Dew that you want me to try out. Put in the comment box below and I might check it out. But, officially... That's the review as always. If you like the video, if you rock with me the whole time, please leave a like. Don't share it once, share it twice, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys wanna see on the channel next. And whether you're a regular or a first timer, please subscribe, hit that notification bell reminder. I'll catch you guys next time drinking something else. Peace.